do love a bargain. After all is said and done, you never walk you... Last week I was away with work and I thought that I might be able to get some bargain hunting done when I got back. Unfortunately there was nothing to be found. And then when I went to uh when I came back to my hometown because I would have been busy all weekend, I didn't actually do any car booting, so I didn't find anything. And I kind of get withdrawals. Anyway, this weekend I thought maybe I could go car booting. I can do some uh, I can do a bit of bargain hunting. Unfortunately, my wife went away um on a hen do, so that meant I was looking after the kids and the kids wouldn't get up early and go on the car boot hunt with me. So that basically kiboshed that as well. So by the time I did actually end up going down to the uh, car boot sale with my father-in-law, there was nothing to find. There was nothing there that was worth picking up, which made me sad. But I would normally do, when I can't find anything on the car boot, I resort to my other option, which is the charity shops and the bargain shops. So I decided to go around them instead. Here's a little vid of some of the nice things I picked up from the charity shops and the bargain shops. And something that you need to know so you can go out and get these things yourself. Don't tell me you can't find them, because you definitely will. So I'll start with a little thing I picked up from uh, B&M. I managed to find Bombshell for £5.99. And I love these little Legends figures. They're absolutely fantastic. Uh, this is one of the few uh, of the Legends figures that I've still been after for a while. Uh, and I did manage to find it, so I'm pretty chuffed with it. Very, very simple transformation, but I love the colours of him. Really, really nice. And the fantastic Decepticon insignia that he's got on him. He's really good and a bit of a bargain as well because he's normally quite expensive. In the charity shops near my house, I managed to find Doctor Who yearbook, which I think is pretty good. Got all the uh, doctors in. It's still got all the uh, the corners in it and it's in really good condition. Got like a comic. Got like a decent story in there and it's got all the characters. I'll have a real read through that. It's pretty good. Also found in the charity shop was Centurion's Annual. Ah, this thing's fantastic. 1988, great condition. Can't beat a bit of Power Extreme. Love the uh, love the artwork of this thing. It's really like tacky and nasty. Ah, it's just a great, great book. Uh, again, it's got a good story in good condition. That was pretty good. They were only £1.50 each. I don't mind going to a charity shop as a pound fifty each. Now, if you do go into charity shops like I go into charity shops, you might come across what they have, like a little job lot bag. Normally, stick a little sticker on the front and a little price. Now, this one's from Bernardo's, and it costs the grand total of one pound ninety nine. Most of the time, you see them, and they all have, tend to have things in that are all the same kind of stuff. Like you'll see little uh, soldiers in there, and you occasionally see ones full of like farmyard animals and ones full of dinosaurs and that kind of thing. Occasionally, if you're very lucky, you'll come across action figures. And I came across this lot. Now, picked it up and I didn't think much of it to begin with. And then went till I actually picked it up and I saw a few little gems in there. And I thought, here we go. £1.99, this is a bargain. There is some crap in here. So I'll just warn you. And this is the first time I've actually opened up and had a proper look at it. So let's have a little look, shall we? Okay, let's pull all the crap out, shall we? Power Ranger, crap. Nondescript Soldier, crap. Tonka Toy figure, pretty crap. Nondescript Soldier, crap. Crap. Red Reckham from uh, Tintin, crap. Crap. Mm. And crap. However, Visionary, uh, 1987, Hasbro, great condition, hologram, still fantastic, still works really, really well. Another Visionary, again, hologram, still in fantastic condition, in good, good working order. I like this, oops, something just fell off. Oh no, oh no, he fell apart in my hand. Oh. That's terrible. What happened there? Look at that! Well, they're going to have to be money back. <laughs> Captain America bobbly thing. That'll go in my bag. But these are the good stuff. Action Force or G.I. Joe 
Uh, Flint, I think it was. His crotch is broken. Which is a bit of a shame. Nobody likes to see a broken crotch. Um, Firefly, was he? Was he Firefly? I can't remember his name. Uh, Cobra thing. He's in good nick. He's pretty decent. One of the... Oh, I've forgotten the name. Buzzor and the... Rab is it Rabbit? I can't remember now. These were like a, a branch off form of the dis of the of the cobra, which were like hillbillies with the uh, really like heavy duty, nasty weapons and things like that. I can't remember his name. He's a little bit loose. He's okay. Uh, is this sci-fi? Sci-fi, I think his name is. I think that's his name. It's like a. He's got he's got a very yellow hand. He's got one yellow hand and one uh, white hand for some reason. That must have been his smoking hand. And a storm shadow, not bad at all. Arms a little bit loose on the storm shadow, but one ninety nine for all that lot. Can't really go wrong, can you? Anyway, this is the thing I've actually made this video for that you need to go and do. I noticed on one of the uh, Transformer Facebook pages somebody had put the uh, the last night the new Transformers movie before it's even come out they'd reduced to clear all of the Transformers in the Asda near where they were now I went down to an Asda not too far away from where my house and I checked the prices on them and they weren't they were actually full price as normal and it was probably and I thought I thought to myself it's just a store by store uh, offer then I went into another Asda um, and again, I noticed that it was still full price. And there was a guy there, and he was going through all the price changes on the uh, on on the little like inserts on on front of the thing. So I said to him, "Is it a store by store offer this, mate, or is it if I can show you proof that one of these stores has got this thing can I actually match that price?" And he says it'll be a store by store. So I don't think I'll do, but I'll just check it. And he ran it through, even though it said full price, and it was like. The deluxes were twenty two pound, whatever they were, and and the little um, the little what they call turbo changer things were three pound each. As he checked them, he said, "Oh no, these are all half price. We haven't this it didn't get run through to us, so they didn't know that these things had actually changed price. And there was a massive, massive stand full of all these things. So I ended up getting." For one pound fifty, a load of the turbo charge ch changer things, and eleven pound twenty five premiere edition barricade. I wouldn't pay full price for this thing. No way would this thing be worth twenty two pound of whatever it is. But for eleven pound twenty five, that's an absolute bargain, an absolute steal. So I am really chuffed with that. So get yourself down to Asda now, right now, and get some stuff bought because you'll find some great good bargains. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed this little tiny uh, vid I've done. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get back into the car booting. I don't think I'll be able to do it next weekend because I'm going on a stag do next weekend. So I might be uh, off with the bargain hunting for a while. But I'll be getting back into it sooner or later. And when I do, I'll have some bargains for you to see. Enjoy yourself. If you like these kind of videos, subscribe because I do tons on them. Have a great time. Be nice to each other. And I'll see you later.